Valerian in the City of a Thousand Planets. Is it worth seeing? I don't know. Check out my spoiler-free review. Welcome to Durbania, I'm Durbin, and this is my spoiler-free review for Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets. My wife and I attempted to go live with it today, and my phone decided to react all weird, including one moment where we're like sitting there staring at the camera like this, because it says it's going live, going live, it's doing the circle, it's thinking, and then suddenly we're live. But it turns out when it was thinking, it was actually live, and my phone hadn't caught up to that truth. So here we go, attempt number two. So Valerian in the city of a thousand planets, I thought, no, it was okay. I mean, I, I don't hate the movie. I didn't walk out of this movie thinking I hate this movie, but I did walk out of this movie going, oh, it wasn't that great. It really wasn't that great. But let's hit the positives first. Number one, the visuals in this movie are just amazing. I love the visuals in this movie. I mean, you have this, this race of alien beings called the Pearls. And, and they're on this really awesome planet. You kind of see it in the trailer where they're kind of running on the beach and they're running from those explosions and things like that. Like, all of that was just amazing. Like, I wanted to go visit that beach. It was just incredible looking. The, the alien designs were just really good. The, the CGI was incredible. Like, there was so much of this movie, it just looked really good. Also, in terms of the visuals, it was really fun. Like, felt like they just played with the visuals. They played with the things that you could see. They played with how good things look. So, a lot of that was just so, so cool. And this movie, and I'm going to do this in a spoiler-free way, is about this alien race, the Pearls. It's about the destruction of their planet. It's about them being homeless, and it's about their quest to get a home. But it's also about how did they lose their planet. It's about where do humans fit in with this. And kind of like the fifth element, whole thing gets centered around love. And so I thought all of that was interesting. Like, I thought it was an interesting story. I thought it was interesting to try to follow that along and things like that. So there was a lot of things like that that I found pretty interesting. But if I'm going to be honest with you, and here I'm going to hit the negatives now, what really brought this movie down for me, it was our two lead characters. It was Valerian. It was Loreline. Like, they, I just felt like this movie kind of was supposed to rest on their shoulders, and it didn't. they didn't carry it that well. For instance, the actor playing uh, Valerian, I've seen him before. He did great in Chronicle. I thought he was pretty good in The Amazing Spider-Man 2 as Harry Osborn. But in this movie, his character, I think, is supposed to be... Han Solo like I love you I know Malcolm Reynolds like I am to misbehave you know that kind of space cowboy I play by my own rules I'm so full of myself and cocky type but see the thing about Malcolm Reynolds and the thing about Han Solo is even though they're kind of full of themselves and even though they're pretty cocky they do have a very lovable charm about them there's the charisma there there's something there that draws you in to like these characters and to connect and so what I got from uh, Valerian was the cockiness for sure. I definitely got that. It was kind of irritating, but it was irritating because I didn't get that lovable quality, that quality that brought me in and made me really like the character. Great kid, don't get cocky. And there was so much exposition in the very beginning with this character. Like apparently he's in love with Loreline. How do we know this? The movie gets to him and he just flat out says it. Loreline, I love you. Look at this wall. See, these are the 50 different women I've slept with, but now I want to give up all of that and I want to give you my heart. And so rather than us kind of enjoying this experience of him loving her and falling more deeply in love with her, rather than enjoying this experience of chemistry, it's like this chemistry happens somewhere else and now they're bringing us up to date on it and then... Beyond that, there wasn't much chemistry, and that was like the main thing. And I, and I thought the actress who played Loreline did a pretty good job. I thought she did her character stronger than the guy playing Valerian. I really do. But there was no chemistry between her and Valerian. Yeah, we're a team. There was like, I just couldn't buy it. And, and, and I think it had to do with that cockiness, the cockiness without that lovable quality. I mean, I mean, here she is this strong, maybe this Princess Leia-like strong character, and I think was... You could see that the formula was there, and you could see how these characters were supposed to connect, but that just did not happen for me. And again, like I said earlier, where the plot of this movie kind of centers around love, and it centers around trust, and so we're supposed to watch that love and trust and kind of see that chemistry between these two characters. All the while I'm thinking, Laura Lyon, why are you with this guy? Don't put up with this guy! 
He's so full of himself. He's going to say what he needs to win you, and then that's that. And I didn't feel like there was anything to the contrary. Fifth Element, for instance, is probably at least an hour shorter than Valerian. But because Bruce Willis is a likable character, Mila Djokovic, yeah, she played a very likable character, and Lilu, like, I mean, the chemistry was there, and it just pulls you in. That is what was missing for me with Valerian. This movie's not a total loss. I did enjoy it, but honestly, I've seen it once, and I don't feel like I need to see it again. And I, I would say maybe just wait till it's on Netflix or something, except like the visuals are really good and it's really cool to see those like on the big screen. So that's where I'm kind of torn, but I think in the end, I'm gonna give this movie a C plus. If you saw Valerian in the City of a Thousand Planets, what are your thoughts? Do you agree or do you disagree? Whichever one it is, let's have a conversation about it in the comments. And while you're there, hit the subscribe button to become a Durbanian. Next to the subscribe button is the bell. Click the bell so you're notified the moment I drop new videos, like Saturday uh, in the afternoon, going to be dropping my theological analysis for Limitless. That's a good movie. I, I really do enjoy Limitless. So that is dropping on Saturday afternoon. I'm looking forward to that. Plus, Saturday is also like the Warner Brothers and Marvel Day for Comic-Con. I have a work function all day but as soon as that work function ends i plan to check out what dc and marvel has has dropped for us on youtube so that's bound to be a lot of fun too i'm durbin thank you for checking out durbania